Winstrol versus Anna of our discussion with Dr. Tony Huge and Coach Trevor at Gold's Gym Venice. I'm going to give you my Winstrol versus Anavar experience first, and then we're going to have Coach Trevor give his analysis. So I've used both Winstrol and Anavar. They're both oral steroids. They're both hepatoxic. They're both known as ketter, uh, cutting or dry steroids, meaning they don't convert to uh, estrogen and they don't cause any water retention. They're used for pre-competition. Uh, they're used for uh, performance. They both have uh, strength and, and, and strength endurance increases. I uh, I like Anavar because it's clean. I feel like it, I feel no side effects from it. But I don't like Anavar because I feel like it's really weak. I, I barely even feel it. I prefer the steroids that I feel. If I'm going to take a steroid, I like to feel it. Uh, and unfortunately, the ones that you feel are usually the more wet steroids, and the, you're usually feeling the side effects. Uh, the Winstrol, I. I like it because it gives me that instant hard look, that muscle separation, gets rid of the water retention, great pre-contest, but I don't like the fact that it draw, dries out my joints. Uh, I just, I feel, I lose a lot of weight on it, but that's usually water weight, and I don't like how liver toxic it is, because as they get in the higher dosages, that's one that I notice mine and other people's uh, liver enzymes go dramatically up. Um, I would be willing to use both in the future again, Personally, I think that Winstrol is so much more effective at getting the what, what it is that we're looking from these dry steroids. I feel like Winstrol is so much more effective that usually I'll just skip Anavar and, and use SARMs instead. In my experience, SARMs are more effective than Anavar, uh, but SARMs aren't quite as effective as Winstrol in high dosages for getting that dry cut look. But it's close. I still prefer SARMs over Winstrol unless it's like the two weeks before the competition because I get like 80% of the benefits of Winstrol without the side effects when I use some of the drier SARMs like S23, uh, S4, or RAD 140. What do you think? I'm kind of in the same boat. If you're going to take Anavar, you might as well take a SARM because they've made SARMs a little more anabolic than uh, Anavar would be and less androgenic if you look at milligram per milligram on some of them. And actually some SARMs are a little bit more androgenic than Anavar. But they're both, they're less suppressive. The only thing I give to the Anavar is when, one, it's been tried and true for females. And so the dosing is pretty much the same for most of them. They tolerate it pretty well. What I have to say though, like the creatine uptake and things like this and ATP with, with Anavar happens to be a little bit better. Um, but until we know how every SARM works too, you know, we, we can't make that judgment because these things have their own properties as well. The Winstrol is the go-to. If we're talking about oral, it's a little different. Um, the injectable Winstrol though, I would say hands down, 10 out of 11 times I would take that. Um, but you have to remember too, it is a lot, it's much stronger. It's gonna shut you down uh, more so than Anavar. The biggest problem is as soon as you start taking this, three, four, five days, your lipids, cholesterol start to tank and it tanks very fast. Plus, like you said, it's, it, you can probably get up to six weeks of this stuff and your liver is going to be done after that. You know, it, granted you're taking 25, 50 milligrams, it's not too much, but as soon as you're taking the oral 100 milligrams, four, four weeks is probably it. Now the difference is oral versus inject, Winstrol is going to beat it injectable nine times out of ten, it dries you out, it's better than Halo, just don't waste your time with Halo. Um, I think it's the go-to, go-to, but again it's going to have more side effects. So what are the circumstances in which someone would use Anavar over Winstrol? Because it sounds like we both prefer Winstrol for what it is that we're trying to do with a cutting steroid. So when would, when would it be better to actually use Anavar than Winstrol? Um, the only times I would say is somebody that wants to keep maybe endurance because Winstrol can dry you out and that can also hurt you um, the longer you're taking it. Anavar you can take for, they've done studies six months to a year on HRT and even on HRT you're still producing testosterone at certain dosages. So the only perf way I see it is you're taking it just like a SARM. Let's compare a min milligram per milligram, not the injectable version, but just the oral uh, version. Mm -hmm. What is 50 milligrams of Winstrol compared to 50 milligrams of Anavar? or to get a similar effect, do you have to take a much higher dosage of Anavar to match the Winstrol? That's hard to say because you're going to have to judge based on how anabolic it is versus what effects you're getting versus side effects. So 
25 milligrams of Anovar, a guy typically won't get anything. 25 milligrams of Winstrol, you're going to have too much suppression, which will shut your testosterone down, so that won't do anything either. Once you start getting Winstrol, let's say oral, we're just talking oral, like say 75 milligrams versus 75 milligrams of Anovar. Anovar might hold its own to a, an extent, but then you start getting to, to suppression again, so now you're, you hit that 100 milligram marker, Winstrol's going to beat it every time, plus the effects of it. But again, side effects as well. If you're training long term and your joints are drying out, this can this can interfere with it as well. All right, I'm going to make it really simple. So injectable Winstrol, hard to match with SARMs. Uh, oral Winstrol versus SARMs, pretty close. Oral Winstrol might beat SARMs by a little bit, but it also has a lot more side effects. SARMs more powerful than Anavar, so it goes injectable Winstrol uh, being the most uh, effective. Uh, next, Winstrol equal to SARMs um, or in an oral version, uh, just generally speaking. I'm speaking, there's many different SARMs, just generally speaking. And then SARMs and being more powerful than Anavar, Anavar being the weakest milligram per milligram by far. And then the last thing I would say is for females, Winstrol typically isn't res they don't respond really well to Winstrol and I found especially with clients and people I've worked with things like S23 to replace that um, in terms of its counterpart and S23 does a much better job at a lower milligram as well. Um, just performance period performance period for like uh, Winstrol. Winstrol, you like Winstrol? Okay. Oh, 100 percent. But but it's such a trade-off because yes, it, it increases speed, creates fast twitch muscles. A lot of athletes use Winstrol that have to be tested for their weight. Like uh, anybody who anybody who needs to to gain performance without increasing weight, they use Winstrol and speed. Um, but fighting. And fighting. fighting fighters, yeah. But you also dry your body out, and then that can also make your tendons and ligaments a little bit more brittle, so you could be subject to a tear, and then also your joints dry out. And I feel it. Like, it's hard for me to lift. Even though my strength might go up, it's hard to lift hard because it feels like my bones are just rubbing on each other with Winstrol. So I don't even like to compare the oral to the inject because they're so vastly different in how they work and how they dry you out. For whatever reason, you, people can argue it, but people who have done them both know, especially the water-based. But again, 99% of all steroid infections are water-based, so you have to watch out. The injectable um, Stanzolol or Winstrol, nothing... There is nothing you could take that would pull water out like that can. Um, so again, I'm going to go with just Winstrol in general. But when it comes to the oral form, it's not the same drug, and I, it's, it's kind of outdated. I've never gotten anything from the oral versus, or anything better from the oral or anything similar from it versus uh, injectable. All right, so injectable Winstrol is the biz niche. Is that, a, is that a good thing, business? I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, is, there, is there injectable Anavar? Does anybody ever do that? Yeah, but it, then it's a different drug. As we found with injectable D-ball versus oral D-ball, it's Equipoise. Um, I mean, theoretically, but when you inject it, you don't get the same thing. You take it orally, you'll put 15, 20 pounds on in a cycle. You can shoot 100 milligrams of that. So and not you like it. injectable Winstrol, but you don't like injectable Anavar? Yes. And so Anadrol, same way. Injectable Anadrol doesn't work the same. Um, and that can be because of IGF and things like this. When you take it, your liver will also produce more IGF. But that's about it. All right. Well, that's, this is our goal is to present you with the most cutting edge information from our personal experience, from the experience that we get in traveling the world to pioneer human evolution and to try to become superhuman with as little side effects as possible, emphasizing health and longevity. Be swole and swole, friends of Freedom Pioneer of the Human Evolution.